<laughs> okay, so today we're going to be making a mushroom bisque soup. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> and the reason we're going to do this recipe is because back in the day when we would do gluten and everything, we would use um, cream of mushroom soup. So that's what this is going to replace. And so it's nothing but good stuff. And let me show you how I do it. Now, the one thing I did do is I, get, I bought, um, and the recipe is on my website, but I bought three packages of eight ounce mushrooms. So I did two cremini and one white button mushroom, and they were all eight ounces each. You can change it, you could do all cremini, you could do all white, but I kind of like the um, earthy flavor of the um, creminis, and so I got two of those. And what I did was I actually did something I normally don't do, but I take the mushrooms, I wipe them off, I trim the stems a little bit, I quarter them, and I put them in a microwave safe bowl, and I put a teaspoon of salt in it, and I use um, this kind of salt, the Celtic sea salt, and it, that one's more coarse, and I put it in there, I tossed it, and then I covered it really tightly with saran wrap, or cling wrap, and I microwaved it for four minutes, I and be very careful because of the steam, stirred it, put it in for another four minutes, and then I did it for a third time too, making sure to stir it between each interval. And what happens, and this just came out of the oven, it's very hot, so you have to be really careful because of the steam, but it starts the process that we need because we want to soften the mushrooms and the onions, but what more importantly is it gives up their juices and we want to save that because we're going to use that later. So that's why we did it that way. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take two tablespoons of ghee, Really, you can use any fat you want, but in this case, I have ghee right here, so that's what we're gonna use. And we're, what we're gonna do is take the mushrooms, and I have about a cup and a half of onion, organic onion, and we're gonna saute those and soften them um, a bit further. So I already have my, hand preheated, my pan preheated. And then we're gonna go ahead, put the onion in. And again, that's a cup and a half of a white onion. You can use yellow onion if you want, you know, if any, any onion is fine. But we're just going to scoop off, and then we'll get quiet in a minute, the mushrooms because we want to reserve the stock for later. We don't want to use it right away. You can have a bigger spoon. Yeah, but I think it's right out of it. And then we're going to season our onions and mushrooms with just some salt and pepper, um, half a teaspoon, nothing crazy. We just kind of want to season as we go. And once we get that going, we'll move on to, I have some dried mushrooms too, and I'll show you what I do with those. So you can see the microwave for 12 minutes really broke those mushrooms and got them to release the water that they retain. So we're going to keep that. That's important. Um, let me give this a stir real quick and put some salt and pepper in there. And we're only going to let this go. We're trying just to soften the onion up. So we're looking at maybe about eight minutes right here. So we have some pepper again. It's just sprinkle it for now and release the salt. Now, in addition to this, the batch of mushrooms we have here, I have uh, dried porcini mushrooms. This is about a half an ounce. And what I'm going to do is they're hydrated, and I think they actually add more depth um, and complexity to the soup as well, because you really don't have that much stuff going on in the soup. You really just have the onions and the mushroom. So what I'm going to do is I have some water here, and we're going to, and it's on a gentle, it's just, barely boiling. And we're going to go ahead and drop these mushrooms in this water and kind of rehydrate them. And they're also going to have, um, this is going to become a mushroom stock as well, kind of like this. Sometimes you get a lot more um, mushroom stock, sometimes you don't. So this kind of, the reason I don't put that in the microwave is because it just kind of, it's, um, it just makes sure that I have enough in case I don't get a good enough yield out of the, um, the creamies and the white button mushrooms. So we've got these going on right here, and there's really not a lot to this recipe. You'll see, because we have the mushrooms, the onions, we're gonna have two egg yolks, we're gonna have um, some heavy cream, 
a little bit of brandy, not too much, and then we're gonna finish it off and we're gonna have water and some chicken bone broth. And I didn't have any bone broth, so it's okay to buy a carton. If you don't have any, that's fine, because obviously make sure it's free range and organic is best. But um, again, normally I have it in the house. I don't have any right now, so that's fine. And then the other thing you're gonna wanna make sure you do is a Vitamix, and I think the Ninja too, I'm not really sure, but the Vitamix, you can put a hot ingredients in here and you don't have to worry about them um, with the pressure building up because the steam can release, but if you don't have one of these blenders, that's okay. You can use a hand emulsifier or you can take the lid off of your blender, put your the hot mixture in there and just use, um, actually you can put the lid on and take the top off and put a hot towel there. And that way you can go ahead, because that's really what makes it a biscuit. It's just, it's really velvety from the egg yolks and the cream. So that'll be good. So like I said, we're not gonna cook this too long, we're just softening it up. And then it, the onions and the mushrooms, it really doesn't matter how you um, chop them up because they're all gonna go in the blender anyway. So that's not really important. So it's actually pretty quick if you're all set to go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my sherry, any kind of dry sherry is fine. We're gonna put an eighth of a cup in there. Um, so I would turn the heat off just because you have alcohol and there's an open flame there. But um, an eighth of a cup, and which is really two tablespoons. But I'm just gonna kinda, there's one, and there's two. So two tablespoons, stir it around a bit. Go too much longer. And at this point, I can actually add in the mushrooms that I've been rehydrating. So we'll do that. And we were lucky because you can find them in organic. I know it's important to try to always use organic if you can. They do have it out there, so if you ever see any, mine will stock up on them. So I'm going to put those in here. And again, you don't want to spoon, the dirt kind of, the sediment from mushrooms falls to the bottom, so you just always want to kind of keep it settled. And we're going to pour this in here, and then I'll use a strainer to make sure I don't get any of the grit. Right. So now that this is kind of cooked down a little bit, we're not trying to lose all the liquid. We don't have to worry about that. Again, it's all going to go in a blender together. We're going to go ahead and put our stock and our water. So right in this pot I have three cups of stock 